how are you my subscribers and how are you been long time but i'm back again and today i like to talk about salvation and we can't talk about salvation without mentioning jesus christ so our topic today is all about salvation and this salvation i'm talking about is jesus christ so you must be sure that we are talking all about Jesus Christ. To be saved is to do that, is to believe that Jesus Christ is the Lord. And let me emphasize this because many people, they don't know the meaning of believing. You can't believe somebody who you can't obey. Are we together? If you believe in Jesus Christ, you're going to obey him. You can't believe in somebody that you can't love. If you believe in Christ, you're going to love him. And you know very well, John chapter 15, verse 15. You are my friend if you're going to obey what I command you, or you're going to do what I command you. That is Jesus Christ emphasizing that. Now, we are talking about Jesus Christ, and I, I start to warn people, those fake people, you know, those fake people who offer, you know, fake subject offers fake, fake thing. I we together. So, you know, you know, those fake people, they will go to offer also the fake comfort to you. But let me tell you something. If you have Jesus inside you, you have everything that you need. Like a job. You know, when these fake friends of Job came to comfort him, they came with some comfort. But you remember that in the book of Thessalonica, chapter 4, verse 18. The Bible says, comfort each other with the word of God. And remember very well, John chapter 1 says that Jesus Christ is the word. It says that, John chapter 1, verse 1 says that, in the beginning that is the word. Oh, in the beginning the word existed. And this word was with God, and this word was God. Nothing was formed through this word. And this word is Jesus Christ. So in short, Paul is trying to emphasize to the church of the Thessalonian to comfort themselves in Christ. And this Christ live inside you. Remember one thing Christ told us. If you abide in me according to the John chapter 15 verse 7. And in me, in you, nothing will be impossible to you. You're going to do all things. Good News Bible says that if you remain in me and me in you, you're going to ask everything and I will come to grant you what that you are request. Are we together? John 14, 14. If you ask anything through my name, that is the name of Jesus Christ, I will go to ask my father and you will go to receive it. Are we together? So if you have this Jesus Christ inside you, people must be terrible of you. At the moment they offer their fake comfort, they must know you. You have built your house in a strong foundation. And this foundation is Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ liveth inside you, he's going to produce everything according to your need. Remember in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse the, chapter 1, from verse 1 to 2. In the beginning, God created the world. Verse 2 say that the word was desolate, formless, without form, darkness was covering the word. The whole water was 
Ufarin. But the Holy Spirit of the God was Ufarin over the surface of water. That is Jesus Christ. Because also Jesus Christ was there in the beginning. Are we together? And if this same, same Holy Spirit who is Ufarin over the surface of the water is the one who liveth inside you. If you do what? John chapter 8 verse 31 and 32. When you obey my teaching, that is the word of Jesus Christ, the word himself. And you are willing to obey my teaching, you and you are really my disciples, you are going to understand the truth and that truth will set you free. That is only Jesus Christ. I told you we are talking about Jesus Christ and we are talking about salvation because Jesus Christ is a savior. By the way, the name Jesus Christ means savior. Are we together? Now let us proceed. I'm talking about Job. When these fake friends come to comfort him, they offer the fake comfort as they are. You know, if you are fake, you're going to offer fake comfort as you are. But you remember, Job was a man of God. And in the time of Job, Jesus Christ was there, but was existing as a spiritual, but spiritual realm. Are we together? So Jesus Christ, having been there in the time of Job, was inside Job, comforting him. This is why when they offer those three friends of Job, when they come and offer fake Come back to Job because Jesus Christ was inside Job. He told them that. Listen, chapter 21. Job told them, This is the kind of comfort that I need to hear from you. What am I trying to emphasize? If you have Jesus Christ inside you, you have proper comfort. People they can offer to you fake comfort. But because Jesus Christ liveth inside you, you must have proper comfort. So be careful as far as the people who have Jesus Christ as their Savior and he liveth inside them. Remember the book of John chapter 5 verse 39. Jesus Christ taught the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the priest and high priest, the expert of Moses' teaching. You study the Bible or you study the scripture. In bearing, or bearing in your mind, you're going to find eternal life inside these scriptures. And me himself, this scripture talk about me. In short, Jesus Christ was telling them, this scripture is me. According to the book of John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning there's a word. But you don't like to come to me as your savior. To receive eternal life. But you search the scriptures in order to see whether you will come to find eternal life inside those scriptures. And me, Jesus Christ, I am the word. I am the scriptures, me. From Genesis, I am there. When the God was creating everything, nothing was created without you. Jesus Christ. So don't seek, study the scriptures, understanding that you're going to find eternal life, but you don't like to believe in the one, the only son, the beloved son, that is Jesus Christ. Are we together? Remember when, when in the day of transfiguration, in the book of Matthew chapter Chapter 17, the same as the book of Mark, chapter 9, when Jesus was transfigured, you know what happened. The sound from heaven says that, this is my beloved son, listen to him. So if you study the Bible or you like to offer any comfort on any advice to somebody who Jesus Christ liveth inside him, you must be careful. Because Jesus Christ is inside him. As Jesus Christ has taught us in the book of John, chapter 7, verse 37 to 39. 
or do whoever believeth in me, and Jesus says that, whoever believeth in me will never be thirsty. And the scripture says that the living of the living water will go to pour in his belly, producing eternal life. That is somebody who abide in Christ. So what I'm trying to emphasize to you, whether you read the scriptures or you do what, please try to see the teaching of Jesus Christ. Obey this kind of teaching and you're going to be free indeed. Remember in the book of John chapter 14 verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. Are we together? You know, if you need to, re to remain tragic, you must have Jesus Christ. In short, if you have Jesus Christ, you have everything. And you don't have the need to people to reveal what is inside you. But they will go to reveal as a correction. You already know what is inside you. You already know your talent. You already know who liveth inside you. It's great that who live outside you. Having understanding Jesus Christ in this dimension, you must live according to the teaching of Jesus Christ in order to him to abide in you and to produce everything that you need in life. Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. You know, one thing you must understand is that even in the beginning, when you read Isaiah chapter 9 from verse 6, you're going to find Isaiah prophesying about the coming Messiah. He said, he is the king of kings. For example, he said, he's the prince of peace. Do you need peace? You need only one, some, one body. That is Jesus Christ. Do you need, he's a wonderful counselor. Do you need to have, be, to have wisdom or to Receive counsel in that of what we with another time mission. Please abide in Jesus Christ. He said that his kingdom does not have an head. Are we together? Do you like to have dominion inside you? Do you like to have insight inside you? You must abide in this Jesus Christ. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 7. The same time, the book, the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 23, it says that his name is Emmanuel, means God with us. And this God with us liveth inside us. People, they can despise you the way they need. They can say you are good for nothing. But let me tell you something. They will go to see you like Bethlehem. If you read the book of Matthew chapter 2, you're going to find when Herod asked the wise men where Jesus was, was about to be born, they tell him in Bethlehem, the least country of Judah, inside this country cometh the governor. They can see you the least, like the way they seem the Bethlehem, but they must not understand that inside you cometh the king. Inside you dwell the king who produces everything you need. When you read the book of John chapter 1, you're going to find someone called Nathael. Nathael was a Jew. But when you believe, call Nathael and tell him we have seen the Messiah for whom the prophet prophesied about him. Nathael said that Nothing good will come from Nazareth. Have you never read that? Nothing good will come from Nazareth. Are we together? They will despise you like Nazareth. But if you have Christ inside you, you are great. And great things will call it to be on your tent. When you read the book of Matthew chapter 13 from verse 54, let us start from 53. 
continuously. You're going to find people despising and rejecting Jesus because they value him as the son of a carpenter. But they don't know that inside this son of a carpenter is a camel, the eternal life. They can despise you outward appearance, but they can understand who dwell in you. If Jesus dwell in you, everything will be possible to your life. They can despise you like Bethlehem. Nothing good will come from Bethlehem. Because we know this is a list among the towns of Judah. But they can refuse or they can lack the revelation that inside Bethlehem come the king. You can look somebody about the outward appearance, but inside this man cometh the king. Are we together? So, if you are, if you have Jesus Christ inside you, everything is provided. What you need in your life is to have Jesus Christ as the savior of your life. Look the way another hell despised Jesus. But at long last, he became the, the disciples of Jesus Christ. Read chapter, um, the last chapters of the gospel book, Matthew, Mark, John, and Luke. You're going to find another hell there in the day of Pentecost. Are we together? So another hell say that nothing good will come from Nazareth. The people of the hometown of Jesus Christ say that we know this man very well according to the book of Matthew chapter 13 from verse 53. They say that this is the son of carpenter. We know his brothers, all they mention this Judah, Joseph, we know his sisters, they live among us. And we know you are the son of carpenter. But they can know about your outward appearance. They can know where you come from, but they can't see Jesus who liveth inside you unless you manifest Jesus Christ. Are we together? Remember, you can manifest the Jesus Christ. People, they'll glorify God and say, inside this man liveth the king. According to the book of Matthew chapter 5 from verse 15 to 16, or from 14 to 16, you are the light of the world. And 16 is the favorite verse that I like most. You are the light of the world. So make sure your light shine to all people in order to glorify your Father in heaven. Are we together? So you must manifest Jesus Christ by doing what is necessary. First Peter chapter 2, verse 15. God needs us to silence the talk of ignorance people by what we do. So we must light. We must be the light of the world in order to silence those ignorance people. They talk bad things about God. Live according to the teaching of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ will never depart inside your tent. They can despise you. They can see you as small as, as Bethlehem, but they can refuse to understand that inside you come the king. You are the vessel that carries Jesus. So if you carry Jesus according to the book of John chapter 14 verse 14, you're going to ask everything and he will go to do for you. If you carry Jesus according to the book of John chapter 14 verse 7, verse 6 and 7, you have the way to the Father. If you carry Jesus or if you abide in him or if you remain in him, nothing will be impossible to your life. You're going to ask everything and he will provide to you. 
According to the book of Matthew chapter 17, the same, same thing in chapter 21, Jesus told them, if you have faith without doubting, you can, nothing will be impossible to you. You can tell this, this hill, go, and you can, you can take this hill and throw it in the sea. Now, this faith is all about faith in Jesus Christ. The King of Kings, who I'm talking about today. If you have Jesus Christ, you are full of comfort. Because I told you, Jesus Christ is everything that you need in this life. People, they can despise you the way they like. Because they despise Jesus Christ. Remember the book of Matthew chapter 10. The same as the book of Luke chapter 9 and 10. Jesus Christ told his disciples. If they persecute me, they will persecute you. If they... This is the time when Jesus was standing, sending the disciples out to preach the gospel. Or to win their souls. If they persecute you, they will persecute you. If they take me away from the synagogue, they will go to take you away. If they despise me, they will go to despise you. But I am happy because of Matthew chapter chapter 10 chapter 10 verse chapter 5 verse 11. But be happy because of those who persecute you because great is your reward. That will go to get there before. If you have Jesus Christ, everything you have. People, they can get tired with you. But Jesus Christ will never get tired of you. Because he came because of you. He came because of the sick people like you. Because you have needs. And you need Jesus Christ. Me, personally, I can get tired of you. Because I can't provide everything you need. But if you abide in Jesus Christ, according to the book of John chapter 15 verse 7, nothing will be impossible to you. Are we together? Remember how Abraham abide in Jesus, in Jesus Christ, all in God. Genesis chapter 17, Abraham is loving. Because this man of God told him, you will go into our side. Abraham is loving and says that, did a man of a hundred years have ability to have a son? The same, same thing happened in the book of Genesis chapter 18. Sarah is loving. His mother in that, a woman of 90 years, whether it's helpful to get what? To get a child. Are we together? This makes the love of Abraham in chapter 17 and the love of Sarah in chapter 18 of Genesis make them to call Isaac laughing. The name Isaac means laughing. That is what Jesus can do if he dwell inside. Jesus was there in the days of Abraham. He lived with them. Melchizedek is Jesus Christ. That is according to the book of Genesis chapter 14 from verse 17. Jesus was there. And Jesus is the one who accompanied Abraham to do everything and to facilitate each and everything. The Jesus Christ, the stone that Produce water, water in the wilderness. That this Jesus Christ, the messenger who go ahead of children of Israel, according to the book of Exodus, chapter 23 from verse 20. And I will go to send my messenger ahead of you. This is the Jesus Christ who liveth inside the hearts. The children of Israel was to be sent Jesus Christ ahead of them. But us who believe in Jesus and do according to his teaching, he liveth inside us. How privileged we are to have this King of Kings abiding inside us. 
the same same Jesus who make Abraham to love in his old age, who make Sarah to love in his old age. When you read in the book of Genesis chapter 17, you're going to find Abraham loving because of the promise of the son and the Sarah in chapter 18. The sad Jesus who make them to love in that time. That time Jesus was there, but in the form of spirit. That Jesus will going to make you to love in your youth age. If you are free and allow him to live inside you, are we together? So, those people who offer us fake, fake comfort, they must be careful when they offer these things to somebody who Jesus liveth inside him. Because as the way Job told these fake friends who come to offer him, those three friends who come to offer the fake friends. Chapter 21, Job told, this is the kind of comfort that I need. Are we together? When you read the word of God, follow Jesus Christ. Because the word itself is Jesus Christ. According to the book of Job, John, chapter 1, in the beginning that's what is Jesus Christ. All of these things. When you read this thing, don't rely to the scriptures, but do according to the word. And God will come to be with you. I told people in the previous teaching, we have three types of people. Have somebody who you must teach him. And you're going to understand. We have somebody who you must discuss with him because he just know what you are teaching. But the third person is expert, and these people is where is where Jesus lives. When Jesus lives, you make you expert. You must use this kind of people like an example. Are we together? You don't have need to teach them, but you're going to use them like an example, like Jesus Christ. Like someone like Paul. Peter is using Paul as a good example in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 15. It told people, look with the passion of what our dear Paul told you. Taught you, teach you with the wisdom that God or oh, Jesus inspired him to teach. But inside these letters of Paul, there is a difficult thing whereby ignorant people and the people who does, does, does not have any way to go, they will go to bring the destruction for you. So be on your guard. And Peter is finishing in that chapter of three, chapter three says that. But make sure you grow from grace to grace. This is Jesus that I'm talking about. Where did this Jesus abide in you? You're going to know him well and continue to know him and have thirst to know him. Even if he's a child who is speaking about Jesus, if Jesus liveth inside you, you're going to listen to him. Remember, Act 23, how that child said Paul from the from Jews, because Jews were, was having a plan to kill Paul. But a little child came and told Paul. Paul sent this little child to the, to the commander. And this little child saved Paul. If Paul despised these children, he will, he, will, he will go to face the consequences and die. Are we together? So don't despise anybody. Listen to the word of God. Despise all who is saying. But you'll call to grow in Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ abides in you, you're going to have anything and nothing will be impossible in your life. Because Jesus Christ is a king of kings and nothing is impossible in his realm. Today we are we are talking about Jesus Christ abiding in us. Be blessed as you watch this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. 
because I'm going to pour many videos in this. When you abide in Jesus Christ, also he will going to reveal great revelation toward you. Are we together? He will going to reveal great things in you. Be blessed, be blessed, you are just supposed.